transplant games were set up by a transplant surgeon to show his patients that sport and exercise is good for you and makes you more healthy after transplant. And from that one day event, we now have a four day event, demonstrating the benefits of transplant, but also showing the public that without donors, none of these athletes would be alive to compete. The transplant games obviously covers lots of sports. Today you're gonna to see 40 odd transplant patients compete in tennis. People play tennis to stay fit, remain fit. And in the case of the transplant patients, they come to say thank you for the donation of having another shot at life. Yeah, it's suited to anybody really, but it also helps transplantees because after your transplant you're maybe unfit, but tennis balls, people can hit them to you so you don't have to run as far. Obviously the medical advice is not to do too many contact sports, so tennis is, uh, is quite a good way of keeping fit as well as competing. It's given the confidence to stay well, to be well. So it's giving not just me, but other people I tell the confidence to say, yes, there's life after organ donation. And tennis is a good way of keeping fit and active. Plus, belong to a tennis club, there's a social side, which, which is quite important as well. Oh, I mainly do it just to keep fit and active, to keep my lungs working. But I'm not here to win, I'm just here to spread donor awareness, show that what transplantation can achieve and try and get people to sign up on the organ donor register. Tennis is a game that is for life, it's not just you know for young kids, for people who play tennis you can play from 5 to 85, it's a great way of keeping fit and active. Every two years the World Transplant Games Federation run the World Transplant Games so we compete against 50 sometimes 60 countries from all around the world we recently returned from South Africa, Durban, where out of 12 tennis players, 10 of them medalled in the singles, and we did very well in the mixed and men's doubles. If you're successful at the British Games, you may be considered for selection for World Games. Today, we've got people here who are novices, but they need a lot more developing and some coaching so that they'll come back next year and in the meantime, play tennis. So in the future we want to eventually have doubles at the British Transplant Games and also mini tennis as well to get the younger kids involved. We're going to look to adapt a short, smaller version of the game as an introduction to newly transplanted patients in the hope that, like me and all my friends, we discover our love for tennis and continue to promote organ donation through sport and support the development of tennis with the Tennis Foundation. So this is my first step to getting fit. So. This is it, me today. So hopefully I don't get beat too much. <laughs> <laughs>